Hello Internet, welcome to the shop. Today we're going to be installing a set of our brand new Stinky Fab SFR shackle relocation brackets. Now for those of you wondering what the purpose of shackle relocation brackets are, it's because most aftermarket lift springs actually take a standard length main leaf and they add more arch to it. And what happens is the, the two eyelets at the ends, they get closer together and you end up with uh, a shackle angle that's improper. So the relocation brackets have multiple holes in them so you can move that shackle to get that, that forward lean that you want. And if you are running a longer aftermarket leaf spring, we've also got extra holes so you can shift it around and get things where they belong. So today we're gonna be installing it on this 2000 Cherokee behind me. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, this Jeep has both a trailer hitch and an aftermarket gas tank with a heavy duty skid plate on it. So we're gonna drop those down first. Uh, if you don't have a trailer hitch, if you don't have an aftermarket skid plate or this, uh, this is a Genrite aftermarket gas tank, you may not need to drop these down. There may not be anything in your way. Um, in our case, we want to drop both of these and put the relocation brackets underneath them right up against the frame. You could put them on top, but if you ever need to change a fuel pump, which is a lot more likely than moving the jackal relocation bracket, if you ever need to drop that gas tank, you're going to really hate yourself for not doing it the right way the first time. So we're going to go ahead and take everything down, get it out of our way, and get moving. All right, so up in the frame here, I don't know if you can see, there's a nut plate that's inside the frame there. Uh, most Jeeps come with them. Occasionally, you'll find one that doesn't have them. Uh, this one had it. If you don't have it, it goes in from, from the back. You have to take the bumper off to slide it in. Uh, this is the part you can get new ones made by uh, Crown Automotive. We'll post a link in the description there if you need them. I think they're about 35 bucks for both of them. Uh, most Jeeps should have them already installed though. All right, so now that we've got our gas tank and trailer hitch out of the way, we're gonna take the old shackle out here. And then our first step, we gotta remove this, this box. So we're gonna cut up here against the floor down the, uh, the rear bulkhead there. And then on the inside, we'll be cutting down the frame rail and across the top there too. Just take this whole box out of here. Uh, probably gonna use a plasma cutter, to cut it out, and then use a flap wheel on a grinder to grind it smooth and clean it all up. So now we've got the whole shackle box all cut out of there, along with the big hump on the inside frame rail where the captured nut usually is. Uh, you have to cut that out because if you don't, it's going to shove your shackle over the thickness of the relocator material, which is quarter inch. Um, and that just kind of throws, throws the rear suspension out of alignment and creates a lot of bind in the shackles. So I used a plasma cutter to cut the box all out. Then I actually used a sawzall, sliced that right off. That went actually really easily. Then just came in with a flap disc on a grinder to clean everything up. And you see here, we've already drilled our, our new mounting holes that the uh, relocation bracket will use, along with, of course, it'll bolt into the, the stock holes there. So now we're ready to uh, just shoot a little paint on there so that nothing rusts, and then we'll bolt the brackets in and we'll be done. So we had a camera problem, so we didn't get any video of us actually mounting up the brackets or drilling any of the holes, but here's what it looks like when it's all in place. Basically, you just use those big trailer hitch bolts going up into the uh, nut plates there to secure the bracket so you can mark the holes in the floor and the rear bulkhead, get them drilled. Then you can bolt those ones in and they'll they'll hold the bracket there. Um, for us, since we've got that heavy duty gas tank skid plate and the trailer hitch, we'll pull the big bolts back out again, 
get the gas tank in, get the trailer hitch back up there, and then put all the bolts in and tighten them down. So that's pretty much it for the bracket install. Now it's just putting the Jeep back together again. All right, so we're getting our shackles installed now. And uh, you'll notice we've got these captured nuts that you can fish up through the hole there. You can see we've got one of them already in there. And uh, you should get two different ones, one that angles forward and one that goes the other way. That's so that uh, if you want to go in the rear holes, you can fish it back that way. If you want to go in the front holes, fish it the other way. Now, if you're all the way up forward, you can actually just drop it in the front there. And there we go. We got uh, got everything put back together. Relocation brackets are up in there. You can see we are one hole forward of what would be the stock location with our new SFR shackles on there. This thing's ready to hit the road. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to head over to stinkyfab.com for all your needs. We got lots of Jeep products there for you. And have a great day.